A Milwaukee woman who'd stood by as a young boy was beaten and starved to death will now spend the next 20 years behind bars. Edder Hughes was sentenced today for her role in a boy's death last year. Ricky Mitchell live outside the courthouse with more on this. Ricky. Well, Charles and Shannon, as is typical in sentencing cases, the judge gave Edder Hughes a chance to make a statement before her sentencing. What wasn't so typical, though, she spent nearly 20 minutes talking to the judge, mostly blaming the other defendant in this case. These babies almost didn't even look human. Milwaukee County Judge M. Joseph Donald said the hospital photos he saw of the injuries inflicted on Trevion Winningham and his brother reminded him of Holocaust survivors. I don't know what you were thinking or how this could have even occurred without you noticing. Edder Hughes and Mary Martinez both pleaded guilty in the case after Trevion Winningham died at the hospital in November. A criminal complaint says Hughes and the two boys started living with Martinez in August after the boy's mother asked Hughes to take them from Arkansas to Milwaukee. During their time in Milwaukee, the boys were starved and beaten in that home. Hughes claims she had no idea the abuse was happening, despite evidence that says otherwise. This is not me. I am not a, a monster. I am not a criminal. I'm not a monster. I don't have a criminal record. I'm not messed up in the head like it was said out here and all that. I have plenty of sense, sir. Her 20-year prison sentence did not seem like enough time to LJ with Guardians of the Children, a local child abuse advocacy group who has been following Trevion's case from the beginning. In 20 years, she should be about 64 years old, I think, and she'll get out and she'll probably murder another child. Now, despite Hughes's statement in court saying that she doesn't have a criminal record, Hughes was convicted in 2003 for neglecting a child in her care. That neglect led to the child's death. The other defendant in this case, Mary Martinez, is scheduled for sentencing tomorrow morning. Reporting live outside the county courthouse, Ricky Mitchell, today's TMJ4.